Hey there, welcome to another episode of Mondane Designs. I'm your host Mondane, and this video is part of my question and answer series. And today we're going to be talking about my current wish list. As a collector, there are definitely games that are outside of my reach, I guess is the best way to put it, where things either just kind of slip past me or a game that I didn't pay attention to or one that was very hard to come by or a system that I didn't get into until it was way late in the game. You know, there's there's always things that that get by collectors and when that happens, sometimes the price goes way up and we or we just have a really hard time finding it. And so with all of that, this is my current wish list. Now, I want to be clear that these aren't in any particular order and that I'm not e-bagging. I'm not asking anyone to send me any of these games or anything like that. If someone has an extra copy of one of these games, Please feel free to reach out to me. You might be able to work out a trade in some way or negotiate a price or anything like that. So first up is Alex Lay for the SNES. This is a wonderful shmup. It's kind of gone off in a little bit of price, and I would definitely love to have this game. Next is Baten Kaitos Origins on the GameCube. This game got past me. I was a big Baten Kaitos fan, and then, you know, I was in college, and I had to concentrate on school and stuff like that, and that's why this game got past me. Next up is Blazing Star on the Neo Geo. Guys, I just, I want a shmup on my Neo Geo system, and Blazing Star is one of the ones I've played it on emulator quite a bit. I enjoy it a whole lot, and I would love to have a copy of this game. I'm going to cheat on this next one and just say what its common name is. Instead of the full Japanese name, it's Sapphire. I think it's really called Genditsu Sapphire. I could be butchering the name. Probably am butchering the name. But it's on the TurboGrafx-16 CD, or the PC Engine CD, to be honest. But there's no real difference. There's They're not region locked. But this is a wonderful shmup. I would love to be able to get a hold of a real copy of this game. But it's really, really, really expensive. Next up that I have on my wish list is Gotcha Force for the GameCube. I've played this game before in the past. I've played it, you know, emulating it and stuff like that. And it's really a fun game. And I really would love to have a real copy of this game in my collection. Next up is another one on the GameCube. It's Lost Kingdoms 2. I played the first one, and I absolutely loved it. And I really would like to get my hands on a real copy of the second one. Next up, we have an extraordinarily hard-to-get system again. is the Neo Geo, and I want to find Magician Lord. I know it's kind of a, a poor platformer and really doesn't play that well, but I, I want a platformer on my Neo Geo, and this is one of the better ones. And I remember playing this in arcades and having a lot of fun with it. And, of course, lastly, I would love to be able to get my hands on Panzer Dragoon Saga for the Sega Saturn. It's the Holy Grail. For me, even though I know that there is a another game on the Sega Saturn that is more expensive, but you know, it, I would love to get my hands on it. But who knows? Maybe one day, just probably not anytime soon. Like I said, I'm not e-begging here. You know, I know people out there have multiple copies of various games. Maybe we can work out a trade. Or not, who knows, maybe maybe come up with a good price. Guys, let me know. Are there games out there that just kind of got past you? You know, what is your what is your current wish list? You know, if 
if you guys have something on your wish list, I might have it in, in my trade bait somewhere. Maybe we can work something out, but just that's the only way that we're going to be able to get past this as collectors is if we come together and share our wish list as much as we can. Well, that's it for this episode of Monane Designs. I'm your host, Monane, and I hope you enjoyed this episode as much as I enjoyed making it. If you like what you see, you can support me and my channel on Patreon by clicking one of the links below. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe, and have a wonderful day.